4-3 decision that Iowa Supreme Court gives a go-ahead for Iowa's so-called fetal heartbeat law to go into effect. That ruling sends the case back to the district court to dissolve the temporary block. That process is expected to take about three weeks. Well, in the meantime, abortion remains legal in Iowa up to 20 weeks. State House reporter Skyler DeHall, she hears from Iowans as they react to the news. The Iowa Supreme Court's ruling now paves the way for Iowa's nearly six-week abortion ban to take effect. Those in favor of the ban are calling this a monumental day for the state, while some Iowa doctors say they aren't sure how to provide care now. It's devastating to think about. Soon doctors will not be able to perform abortions once cardiac activity is detected, often about six weeks into pregnancy and before many women know they're pregnant. Following a year-long battle in the courts, Maggie DeWitty with Pulse Life Advocates is now praising Iowa's high court's ruling. I have been involved in pro-life for over 25 years in Iowa. And to think now that we will finally have protection for children is, is really hard to put into words. The law does outline exceptions, including documented rape and incest, when the mother's life is at risk and fetal abnormalities. But some Iowa doctors fear the change will negatively impact patients by not allowing them to do their jobs. I will tell those patients that they can stay in Iowa and become more sick, or they can travel out of state to get proper standard of care medicine. But anti-abortion advocates claim this law will protect women and are celebrating the new protections for the unborn. Pure joy to know that women are going to be protected from the harm of abortion. Babies' lives are going to be saved. Dr. Emily Bavers, an OBGYN in rural Iowa, says 30% of the state is already in a maternal health care desert, worrying implementation of the law will not only hurt women's health care, but recruitment for all types of medical professionals. But restrictive health care bans have been shown to decrease applications to medical schools, applications to residency programs, and limit recruitment and retention of skilled physicians. At the Iowa Capitol, Skyler Law reporting.